Hey guys, this is Mad Kids and Alone. Today's I'm making a video on something called Wine. Wine. Um, so Wine allows you to run and install Windows programs on your Intel based Mac. So this doesn't work on power PCs, unfortunately, but it does work on Intel. So most of you I think use Intel, so hopefully this will benefit most of you. So in this video, hopefully it'll only be a few minutes, I'm going to show you how to install something called Mac ports and use it to install something called Wine on your Mac. So I had another video on installing Fink on the Mac. Mac ports is something similar to Fink. It lets you install a bunch of Unix programs on your Mac. Um, so um, let's just get right started. There are a bunch of requirements actually in order to um, install Fink or install Wine. The first one, and I have a little list right here, is you need an Intel Mac, so you can't have a PowerPC. The second one is you need to have an admin account, username and password. You need to have Xcode installed, and I will have a link in the description to a video on how to install Xcode if you don't already have Xcode. Um, you need X11, which comes with most Intel-based Macs, if not all, so as long as you have um, Leopard, it should be okay. If you have Tiger, then um, you can't do this, unfortunately. And it'll take about an hour. So I obviously will have to do a bunch of cuts. Um, so, first of all, like I said before, you have to have something called Mac ports installed. So here's my screen, and I found this great site that explains it pretty well. So I have a link for this in the description if I don't explain it to you well. But anyway, let's get back to business. You have to go to a website to install Mac ports. So I'll just have that link in the description as well. It's macports.org slash install.php. So now you're going to download the Leopard Universal. Right there, here it is. And it'll install and download a DMG disk image. I'll open it up and mount it. Okay. So now you want to open up macports.pkg. And it'll take you through the very simple to follow in, um, setup process. So this is like practically any other installer. And so Mac ports, it doesn't install apt-get like Fink does. It installs, once you've manually installed some stuff, it installs a command called port, which lets you install ported programs. And there is a version of Aircrack NG for this too, but that's terribly hard to use. So it's installing. The installer script tends to take a long time to run, so I'll do a cut here. Okay, there we go. So it finished. I'll click close. So now we have to run a few terminal commands to fully install it. So I'll open up my terminal application. So these are commands that you're going to need the root password for, unfortunately. So I'm going to paste the command in and hit enter, and I'll have the command in the description of the video. Okay, so I'll hit enter. And now it's going to ask me for my password. So, uh, if, it, if it goes right, then this should be the output of the terminal. So, now that that's worked, um, I'm going to close terminal because Mac ports is installed. And to know that, you type port. And since this is a now it's a command, it means the ports is, Mac ports has been installed. And Mac ports is cool to have anyway, so... Um, I'm glad that you guys now have that. So now, it's really easy to install it. So we actually want to open ba terminal back up. Once you've installed Mac ports, it's super easy to install Wine. You do sudo space port space install space Wine. No caps. Now it's going to install Wine, and it might take a while. And by the way, if you get an error message that says C compiler cannot create executables, it's normally because um, you don't have Xcode installed properly or it's not installed at all. It's um, configuring it. Okay, it's building it. So this is where you get that error that says um, cannot compile. It's actually installing a bunch of stuff that's um, required for Wine to properly work. A bunch of Linuxy stuff. And now it's actually installing something called ncurses, um, which gives you a bunch of terminal options for your programs. So now it's configuring. 
Okay, so it's finally downloaded Wine itself, and it's um, building it. And once it's done building it, um, it will finally be installed. So hopefully after this, it'll um, be done running this command. Okay, so that took an hour and a half. Um, it'll probably go faster for you since you won't have another CPU-intensive program, such as ScreenFlow running in the background. But anyway, now that it's installed, I'm going to type wine to test out the command. So the wine command works. So here's how to run a Windows program with wine. You type wine in terminal space, and there are no caps in wine. And then you drag in the Windows executable. And I'll hit enter. So now it's installing it and running this executable. This might take a while as well. And wine, it's kind of amazing what it does. Although, in the same time, it's believable. And it's kind of understandable. So, here comes X11. Like I said earlier, this uses X11. And it's going to have my Windows program running in it. So, hopefully, this Windows program I'm using um, doesn't stink. So, here's the calculator application that I am... I've run through Wine. The Windows mouse, while it's inside the window, looks like the fancy Windows mouse. No. So this is a Windows application running in Wine over X11. So just go up to X11 quit, and it'll quit it. So just remember, to run any Wine program, you do Wine, space, and then drag in the file. In Terminal, and then hit Enter. So. Let's say you want to see your C drive on the virtual Windows machine. You open a new finder window, press Shift Command G, type the little tilde, which is a squiggly line. It's Shift and then the key under the escape key. Then you do slash, and then you do dot line. And none of these lines are capitalized by the way. I'll do this, and then you want to open drive C. So here's my C drive right now. Mm hmm it's cool so this is how to install and use wine so once you've installed wine through Mac ports all you need to do in terminal is type wine space and then drag in the Windows executable most Windows executables actually all of them end with dot exe so say you have a program like um, calculator in my case you just do wine space and drag it in and hit enter and it's running so Wine is the best free Windows running program that works on Linux, Mac, and I can't say Windows because there's no reason for it to it on Windows. And it doesn't actually run every Windows program correctly. I mean, most Windows programs nowadays are made with C++.net, which will not work on Wine, unfortunately. But the traditional applications and applications made in the plain old um, C++, the traditional Windows, C++, and other programming languages um, it will run. So it runs a bunch of programs, let's just say it that way. So hopefully you'll enjoy Wine as much as I do. So remember, Wine, Space, and then the application path. Um, so say you want to check for updates for Wine. All you have to do to check for updates for every program you've ever installed with Mac ports, you do port, space, and you actually need sudo, sudo, port, space, self, update space and and or ampersand ampersand space sudo space upgrade space outdated okay now hit enter and type your password and this will install all updates for macbooks so this is how to install wine on a computer that meets all of these specifications I will have a link to, um, uh, to a video I made where I install Xcode. I will have a link to a video that I made that shows you how to gain access to an admin account. And just remember, it takes a long time, so be prepared. So thank you for watching Mac Kids and Want. Subscribe, and goodbye.